Luke. John. Yeah? I mean, I play under the name of Bad News Club. I'm gonna go with Luke. I'm gonna be elusive. I'm not gonna take my set. I'm from London. I'm a musician. Ish. Uh, I'm in two different projects at the moment. My main project, Bad News Club, is kind of Radiohead inspired. Um, and then the other one is I play trumpet for a post punk band called I Told You I'd Eat You. Yeah? It's fucking sweet. I don't feel I have one. I kind of mix match just little pieces that I like. I don't think I have one unified vision for what I want to look like. I just kind of find bits and pieces and then stick them together in ways that I feel the patterns or colours kind of relate. Um, yeah. Probably working in some shit cafe. Um, I don't know. I'd like to think that I'd stay in the arts. I can't draw for shit, but maybe like poetry or filmmaking or something. Photography I've got into recently, I shoot 35mm, um, so maybe that, um, yeah, I think it's the writing, because when, when I, I tend to write from a <laughs> nihilistic point of view, it's a bit, you know, selfish the way I write, but it just kind of sums up exactly how I'm feeling in that moment, and so the actual process of writing is almost just kind of like getting that feeling out. When I can't describe it myself, it's cool to then write something and be like, oh shit, that's how I was feeling. Um, so yeah, the actual process of writing and that kind of like being halfway through a song where you're like, shit, this could go anywhere from this point. Like, I can take this wherever the fuck I want. Um, but obviously, like, you know, the live stuff and recording and session work and all of that is cool. I think it would be any of my top three, which is Jeff Buckley, Elliot Smith, Radiohead, because those guys write, they kind of subvert your expectations. You have like, I feel with a song you can start it and before you've written it you can be like oh shit I know where this is going but those writers you're listening to it and they just do little bits and pieces and you're like oh shit what <laughs> um Tupac coffee which yeah I know uh the British guy fuck off <laughs> I don't like tea everyone gets mad at me for that sweet denim 70s no no, I'm not answering that. <laughs> Don't give me that. No. <laughs> Both. Cardi Network, I guess? Is that what Adventure Time's on? I love that shit. Marceline. Marceline's fucking rad. Winter. The Doors. My Chemical Romance, I guess. But, I mean, yeah. Johnny Greenwood. In terms of inventive. In terms of, like, classic guitar player. Rory Gallagher, maybe? I had a really long discussion about this the other day, and I think I've come to the conclusion that Paul and John can fuck off. Like, they get all the limelight, that's fine, you, you chill. Ringo is hilarious to watch, but George Harrison is the one. That guy just fucking did everything. I've just been getting back into it, and I watched this three hour Scorsese documentary on Kindles. Yeah. Sneakers. Sneakers? Trainers. Boots are sneakers. Mind is slipping